Okay, gang, it's Mindset Monday. Happens to be March 4th. What? This is a great month, by the way, because two people on screen right here happen to have birthdays this month. So how many of you heard Richard last Tuesday on Turbo Tuesday? I'm hoping they all did, Richard. It was so powerful. It's really one of those they probably need to take notes from the next time they watch it, get their ink pad ready and take notes because you shared so much thought process that actually came directly from DDP's teaching on down on how you've implemented it. And if you haven't watched it yet, He's turning this month, he's turning 71. I'm turning 69. So we're celebrating that, right, Richard? Absolutely. Yeah. And the reason he's on, gang, is because in February, when I did uh, what were the uh, top 24 contributors to our DDPY 55 plus community, guess who came up as top of all of them that had been contributing the most? to our uh, family up there. And Richard, I don't even know how Facebook does that, but it, it does mean you did more posts, more comments and interaction than any of the rest of us. So it's pretty powerful. I'm just gonna do one quick screen share, you guys, because I want you to see someone else in Richard's life. So Richard, uh, we have your beautiful wife on screen here. And did you tell me her name was Anne? Is that right? Yes, Annie. Annie, okay? And then to the right, I love, I pulled this off your Facebook account. Actually, all of your family shots, I absolutely love. But um, I'm catching on that that's your why right now, isn't it? To you, it has uh, been for a long time, I think, all my life. But yeah, it's the reason why I really took DDP to the level that I've gotten it to because uh, I, I want to be able to around as long as I can be and active to spend the quality time with them. I think that's powerful. I think a lot of us at this age have figured out relationships matter so much more at this season in life. And even a lot what you talked about on Turbo Tuesday was being uh, the kind of example in the fitness pillar and nutrition pillar for the this very family, isn't it? Yes, and, and 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 it's gotten to the point now where my daughter and my daughter-in-law and my son-in-law, we, we, we help each other because they're all active. And even my son, when he's got the time, uh, he'll go out jogging, but they're, and we're all in the nutrition. So we all help each other uh, by sharing information and talking about it from time to time. And it's nice to be able to talk about not only our faith and our family, but our health. Right. And so Richard, has this always been your story, uh, your whole life? Have you always thought about nutrition and fitness for your family? No, I, I've always been, um, God gifted me with a healthy body. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've always been athletic. There was a period of my time through my 30s where I would running six miles a day. And on weekends, I would go on a 10K every weekend and work out. As a matter of fact, I met my wife in a health club uh, oh. down here. Uh, in 1983 and uh, so but it was mostly running and then as I got older uh, walking and it wasn't until uh, 2021 that I really became uh, captured by DDP and DDP yoga and, and really committed to it and, and I'm, I swear by it now and I spent a lot of time listening to a lot of experts with their podcasts reading their books and everything they talk about, we should be doing, DDPY does it. Yeah, isn't that amazing? And, and now, did you have a certain, like for me, it was an accident that for nine years, I just kept dialing back and I lost all my mobility over those nine years and um, got morbid obesity. So I had an urgent reason. Did you have a specific reason why in 2021, that you made that shift over uh, to DDPY? Two things happened. I was walking a lot and I got plantar's, how do you say it? Plantar's fasciitis or whatever that thing is. <laughs> and base, base, I, had a, I had herniated a disc a while back. That was bad. Plantar's was worse, okay? Yep. And I didn't know what was wrong. And um, 
I went just at the same time. I just started getting back together with a high school, real not high school, childhood friend, and we hadn't seen each other for years. And he said, "You need to stretch out. You're stiff as a board." And he gave me his stretch strap. He says, "Go home and stretch. Start stretching." I said, "Well, I got DDPY. I just haven't ever did it." He says, "Do something because you're as stiff as a board." So I came home and I and I started. That's when I started DDPY in April to 2021. And right about then is when COVID was kicking in, and it start, I started hearing all these things about, you know, what you should be doing to take care of yourself. Uh, and I said, you know what? Everything that they're talking about, I hear this guy, DDP, talking about. The importance of exercise, nutrition, mindset. And I said, I'm going to do whatever he says. And I, So I just basically, whatever he said, especially those first 13 weeks, I did it. And, and and I just became that was, COVID, that was in the COVID time. Is that yes? Because okay. because I, I again same with that's when I started journaling every meal, and I was journaling. I started journaling my workouts. Now, I always had my iWatch and my health app on my phones, but I started making other notes about what what I when I felt, especially when I felt aches and pains. I, I you know in, in the app you keep track of where you're hurting, and and don't not do it learn how to work around it, learn how to modify so that I can minimize the amount of time that I'm in that pain. Because he, if you if you avoid it, you're only going to get weaker. But if you listen to, and, and you watch the coaches, the, the teachers in the, in the class or whoever's leading it, you'll work your way through it. And I think, as I said before, um, DDP is careful to separate being in pain from being uncomfortable. If you're going to progress with DDPY, you're going to be uncomfortable, and it should be uncomfortable. But you, you want you don't want to get hurt, especially at our age. We should avoid injuries, period. But that doesn't mean we can't push ourselves. Right, right. Wow. And so uh, you obviously have the heart for our fellow 55 plus, because that's why you were number one contributor. You you. When you see someone put a post, you are often the one I see in there answering them, taking the time to answer those questions. So you do have a heart, not just to share that with your family, which is an obvious one now, but you actually do want to make a difference in even our 55 plus community. It's beautiful. Just like the EDP says, high five. Remember the works. <laughs> Everybody likes to get a high five. And when you have a workout, especially when you might have had a bad workout, you can kind of tell from the post sometimes mm-hmm. when somebody needs a pat on the back or they need a hug. Yeah. And, and I just feel that it doesn't take anything for me to make sure that I'm watching and listening and being the one that either offers the pat on the back, offers the hug. And in some cases, you'll see me put the prayer hands up where I'm going to be praying for them. And I do pray every morning for the wellness of everybody. And, and when I see a post, it's amazing how I'll remember it while I'm doing my prayers and I'll, and I'll pray for that person and, and for those people that are in similar situations. And it just, it, it's what keeps me going because I, I've been there, I've had back, my foot already talked about, and there's different times when I've been working out that I've had to work around things and I've learned what I could do when I've been those times. And right. thank the Lord now at a point where I'm starting to advance again at a, at a higher level, and I'm loving it. It's just, it's uh, totally profound because somebody, they, if they didn't watch Tuesday, they don't even realize it isn't like you're just sitting at home doing nothing because you are still involved in the landscaping business with your son, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I start each morning, at, I wake up at four, and I feed the dogs, and I get my lunch and breakfast ready. And then I sit down for a half hour to 45 minutes. Sometimes it can be a little bit longer. I do my Bible readings, my prayer, and I post it. I have a website that I post my, I journal my prayers every morning. It's, there's a, there's a, there's a site that I post it to. And, and then I go in and I do my workout. And my workout's anywhere from an hour to uh, an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, and then I go to work. So I'm picking the guys up in the landscaping dump truck by eight o'clock. We're going out to the job and I get home around five every day five days a week oh my word and and you were so kind to take your time to do these the turbo tuesday and to do this and it isn't because you're just sitting home doing nothing it's because you really do value making a difference 
Um, Absolutely. And I don't want, the reason is I love DDPY so much is I don't want to stay home and sit around. I want to stay active. I want to enjoy life. Uh, and I want to enjoy it to the fullest for as long as I can. And to do that, I've, I've, I've learned what I got to do and I'm willing to do it because I, I want to do like I post on the bottom of my post. I want to do what I need to do now so that I can do what I want to do tomorrow. Yes. I love how you put that at the end of every post that you do too. I don't know if everybody catches that, but you, you have a motto that you stand by and that is, it's your driving force. I can tell your why is multifaceted, but your family is probably right up there at the top, isn't it? Of your My wife. family is the Lord. I mean, I'm, I'm faithful and, I, and I, I've been blessed with a healthy body. My wife, even when I was at my heaviest, I'm, I'm 165 now. My heaviest was 272. Was okay? it? You, yeah. you left that but, little bit of information out before. So you yeah, have- Right back. In April of 2021, I was 230 pounds. So I've lost about uh, 70 pounds under DDPY, but I lost about 40 before that. My wife, even at my heaviest, my wife used to get so mad because she's got blood pressure pills she takes. I never had a problem. So the Lord's blessed me with a healthy body. And I, I neglected it for a few years. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to go out not taking care of myself. I'm going to take care of myself. And all COVID did was reinforce the importance of having to do that. I, so that is actually, that's a mindset right there. It put an urgency behind it. And then I started to see it working. I started to feel the results. And I said, whoa. And now it's just a way of life. It's been a lifestyle change that I can't explain. And, and I feel that part of being faithful is taking care of my body. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And so COVID, where some people actually felt very broken at that time, which is totally understandable, right? I mean, it was an incredible tough season. Many people lost a loved one during that time. But you also looked at that tragedy in that time frame and thought, you know what, this is something I could work on. This is something I can control, which is moving towards your health journey at that time. For as long as I can, if I can do something to prevent being a burden on somebody else and being able to be a blessing for them instead, okay. instead of a burden, then that's what I wanted to do. And I got to take care of myself if I want to be in that position. Oh my word. Now you made me cry because that's, that's powerful. Just knowing that, that you, that's a priority to you about to turn 71 this month and you care because you don't want to be a burden to anyone. And um, I kind of think we all feel the same way, but sometimes our choices don't line up with that the way they could. And uh, you, you've been a great example, Richard. Thank you for sharing your heart. I hope I can get you on again. I'd actually like to sometime have you on and do a nutrition on Wellness Wednesday and let them hear from you on that journey. Because not, uh -huh. every, not everybody takes, the list is up there and DDP teaches all these things, but you literally took the whole documentation thing serious and um, it's powerful. It's powerful. I just, I can't thank you enough. I love that you have a faith and really no one has to have a faith to be in DDPY. But those of us that have one, we do rely on that. When we're talking mindset, we're actually usually talking that it's about our prayer life and into the word that works for us. But there's room for at the table for everyone in DDPY. Well What's important at our age is to deal with stress in a positive way exactly. and get rid of it. We need sleep and we do not want stress in our life. Yes. So whether it's medit whether it's meditating or praying or whatever you got to do to get your mind set, you have to devote up the time to do it. It's just as important to spend those 20 minutes meditating as it is to spend 20 minutes on the mat. Yeah. And, and really I have, felt in the journey that I've been on and then even coaching people if that if that mindset pillar isn't standing up strong whether it's through their faith or whatever meditation whatever they choose if that doesn't stand up the other two pillars of fitness and nutrition tend to fall right on over because absolutely. it's such a core part of how that works. absolutely yeah absolutely and, and all the people that I listen to they 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 I don't want to use this word but I don't know what other word to use they preach the same message it's, it's mind, body, and soul. And you got to take care of your mind 
to get it right so that you can do what your body needs to do. And then you take care of your soul, your spirit, keep it positive, learn how to deal with the negative negativity that we all, you can't turn on anything nowadays that I hear something negative. Oh, if you let my, I, I, you know, I miss my mom to death, but my, I just wonder what my mom would be doing right now if she was alive, listening to all this negativity. It's tough. You got to learn how to deal with it and you can't let it stop you from doing what you have to do. Right, right. Well, bless your heart. Oh, I just love you so much. I, I really hope now that I know you and your wife are in Florida and my husband and I, sometime, Richard, we are going to connect because this <laughs> is really the first time I didn't know anything about Richard till the, these two uh, interviews. And you're just, you're quite a blessing to our, uh, I know everyone adores the fact that you have left so much of an impact in our DDPY 55 plus community and you've inspired others to serve that way too. So thank you so much, Richard. Any last I've words? Lot, I've gotten a lot out of it. And I, every time somebody likes one of my posts or comments on one of my posts, I, the way it makes me feel is what I want to give back to those other people that are looking for the same thing. And, and that's how we can help each other. So take the time to respond to the post that you see, even the long ones. Read it. You can go through it quickly and see where what there's going. You can listen with your eyes moving fast, and you can respond in the appropriate way if you take the time. And, and and everybody needs it. We all want the same thing, which is to feel like people are listening and appreciating what we're doing. That pat on the back means a lot for each of us. I enjoy it when I get it. That's why I don't mind, and I look forward to giving it. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my word. It's incredible. Bless you.